Why, hello everyone. Welcome to Redneck Ways. How's everybody out there in YouTube land? I hope everybody said fine and dandy. Guys, it is Thursday. My vacation is going fast. It is already Thursday. To tell you the truth, I'm getting a little bored. Um, the weather's pretty nasty here. It's rainy. So, uh, really not good for fishing. I'm hoping I get one good day this weekend to fish, but it ain't, so far it's not looking too good. But, um, just trying to keep myself occupied and doing little things. And, um, one thing I've had on the back burner for a long time is a little old, uh, I think it's a three horse, um, to come -ish lawnmower motor that i would love to get going and let me take you over and let you see it and here it is guys i've had this for probably about five or six years just sitting on the shelf um the carburetor was nasty and the, um, the carburetor was all rusted up and just garbage so i i took that off last time i tinkered with it i noticed that was bad so that was pretty much the stopping point. I don't even think I even checked to see if this thing's getting fire yet. So we'll have to cover all our bases. But um, I ordered quite a few different carburetors when I was working on my Tecumish boat motor to get the right one. And uh, so I've got a few of them. And one of them's right here. And I think this will work pretty good. Even though the gas line is going to be kind of close to the block, I think... We may be able to at least get it started. I'm probably going to, I, I've got another one around here, but I've got to dig it out. So I'll probably will eventually have to find it because that gas line is pointing right to that block. And uh, I don't think it would be very good with the heat. So hopefully I can dig up the other car bear. But if anything, we can at least see if we can get it started. So what we're going to first do, guys. Um, we're going to check our three basic things. We're going to check and see if it's getting gas. And that's a big no. The next thing you want to check, if it's getting fire. So we need to check that. And then, of course, we got to make sure it's getting air circulation. So, and the breather's off, so that should be good. It's a short shaft um, little motor. Uh, it's kind of odd. It's got this little... Get this off here. I think this is around 1960s, somewhere in that time period. It may be 1970s. I'm not for sure. This comes off. See how short that shaft is? And I actually have a... Um, or a, um, a pressure washer around back that the motor's bad. And it's a short shaft. So I may get lucky and this will fit. I don't know. If not, I've got another motor for it. But I would love to find one of them old brown type uh, lawnmower um, over the body of it, the uh, um, frame, and put this on it and just have a old retro lawnmower. Um, I used to cut grass back in the 80s with like a 1966, 67 lawnmower, and it was all the... The frame was all round and it had them crazy wheels that just you couldn't adjust or nothing. It was a nightmare. But I like to have another one just to, just to have, just to remember those times. But anyway, I'm going to see if this old motor will run. I'm, I'm sure it hasn't ran in years and years. So let's get to it, guys. All right, guys. Uh, made a little thing for this thing to set on here. Probably have to put some boats or something in there to keep it good and tight. But let me get this right here where I can pull on it. Right now, I can't get the thing to pull, so I need to take it off. Take this gas tank off. Set that aside. That's a good little gas tank, by the way. It's handy for. All different types of things. If you're piddling around, you need a gas tank. They made them plastic. That makes me think this is more of a 70s. So I don't think they made anything like that in the 60s. Plastic tanks. 
I'm going to go ahead and take this plug and stuff out. I've got to see why it's locked up. Let's pull this plug. It's an autocraft or auto locked spark plug. Don't look too awful bad. Let's see if that helped anything. Nope. Didn't help. So we're going to have to take the cover off. See if we can get down to it. different. I guess because these three are the head bolts. I think the, the two front are 7 16 Head boat. Says uh, the stay says dependable quality engine, easy start, three and a half horse. I think it has bad rings in it. Because if I remember right, the carburetor had lots and lots of oil. But the spark plug looks good, but I can't remember if I changed that. I could have changed that spark plug. It may have not have been the original. Should we take this off now? Alrighty. Well, that's still good. Yeah, this thing is locked up. So let's go ahead and take the rest of these head gaskets out and see if we can get this thing unlocked. I don't remember it being locked up like this. But it is locked up. Alright guys, I'm going to try to see if I put a socket on this and see if we can get to turn that way. Man, she is locked up. Yeah, I don't remember it being like that, guys. Of course, it like I said, it's been about five years since I have messed with it. So, she's locked up. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And it's just hanging here. It's about thread. that off so over here and that's the peel switch it's got a big hole in the exhaust here's the governor that's the governor starting to rain hard outside I can hear it Let's take a look at the dipstick here let's check the oil just 
got a little nub on it. There's real, yeah, there's a little bit of oil in there. Not much. There is a little bit. And it looks pretty black. I mean, not too bad, but not good. Put that back on. Let's go ahead and take these other head bolts out. And see what the top of that piston looks like. Couple of those was kind of loose. sure this one that one's short that one's shorter so that goes on the bottom and the rest of them are pretty much the same size that one's short That one's short, so I guess the only long ones that's looking like is the top. The three on the top is the long boats. See how much oil's on that? A lot of oil. This little motor may need rings. Which I'm pretty sure it does. All right. Only the three top boats are long, so I'll remember that. We'll put all these short ones on where they go. Let's see if we can get this off. Uh, that came off pretty easy, didn't it? Let's see what this head gasket looks like. So let's take a look in here, guys. And I see all kinds of what's that? There's, I've never saw anything like that. <laughs> There's all kinds of metal flaking. There's no hole in the piston. Or, yeah, piston. There is all this crud, all this buildup. I don't know if that's carbon. It may be just carbon. It's not really metal. I think it's just carbon where it was burning so much oil. Let's see if we can get it to break loose now. She is tight. And it's got a valve sticking out. Where's my mallet? Let's hit on that. See if it springs. It's got a stuck valve. This motor's in bad shape, guys. I 
That valve is stuck. All right. Well, I'm going to put a little bit of this penetrating oil on it. I'm going to put a little bit of this on it and let it set. And let it set for a couple minutes. And we'll come back and see if it breaks loose. And if not, we'll just um, we'll go ahead and drain what's oils in it. And we'll take the bottom off of it. And we'll go into the connecting rod and all that. See what it looks like inside. So, yeah, this motor this motor's been abused in its life. It's probably cut a lot of grass. Which is a challenge, which I like challenges. So if we get this thing running, it's going to feel good. It's going to feel good if we can get it running. May have to order some parts. and uh, But if we do, we do. We'll just make us a two-parter if we have to order parts. All right. A lot of cleaning. A lot of cleaning is going to have to be on it. All right. I'm going to put some of this penetrating oil. Let's drop some of that in there. Let's turn it up like this. And put some of this penetrating oil down in it. That's pretty good oil. good penetrating oil it's coroil so we'll see what that does we'll come back we'll let that give it about 30 minutes and i'll be back and we'll check it out guys see if we can break it loose at least enough to see if we can get her started and then we'll have to figure out about the valves we may have to go in the side here and see what's going on that all right we'll give us some time i'll be back Alrighty guys, I think I got it broke loose. Um, I took it and uh, I tapped it with the mallet just a second ago. And I gave it about 20 minutes. And I think we got it broke out there. So let's see what she does. Looks like the valves are working. It sounds like it's got suppression. penetrating oil check it, make sure these valves are open and shut that one that one really needs taken out and cleaned it's not closing like this one so let's see if we can get it take this out See how hard it'd be to take it out of there and see if we can do some cleaning on them valves. Because I don't think it's even going to try to start the way it is. And we'll leave this oil on it for right now. And that'll keep those, it'll keep that wall nice and penetrated or nice and lubricated. I don't have any compound or anything to reset those valves, but we'll see if we can take it apart. See if we can get in there, see if we can at least get this one out and maybe take a piece of sandpaper and do the hillbilly cleanup on it. All right, guys, inside here will be the valve stems. 
So let's see if we can crack that open. Let's see if we can get that one valve out. This is, it's a 5 sixteenths is the, the bolt. All standard socket so far. Which they should all be. I don't think they started going to metric for a couple more years. This should pop off. Huh. Thought it'd be easier than that. Am I missing a boat? This should pop right off of there. Get the mallet. Am I missing something? There she is. Man, she was seized on there, wasn't she? My gosh. There's right inside there, looks like. And let's see how hard I, I don't have the proper tools. So I'm going to do it the old fashioned way with a screwdriver. So let me dig it. It might take me a minute, guys. And I'll get it out, then I'll show you how it comes out. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I am not going to be able, guys, to get this out right now. I fought with it, fought with it. For some reason, once I get that spring pushed back, there's a little lock on there, and I cannot get that lock to... Um, I can't get the swing over, so... I broke a little piece of one of the fins. Eric, the cool... So, we're going to put that back together. Um... Yeah, uh, I probably messed with it about 20 minutes. You know, I'm just not going to be able to get that out of there right now. But I took some sandpaper and I went around. Because I'm going to get rings for this thing anyway. So I'm going to have to get the the right tool to pull those valves. Briggs and Stratton's a little bit easier to get the valves out than um, Kakumas. Cutting compass, a little bit harder. All right. So what we're going to do, we're just going to clean it up. We're going to get some of this carbon out of here. Clean this head off. Get it, just give it a good hillbilly cleaning for right now. We're going to put it back and we're going to see if we can get fire. Because we got it un, unstuck. So let's put it back together. Um, I haven't looked up the torque specs on this. I'm just going to snug everything up because I do know it's it's probably going to smoke like a banshee if it does start. It's going to need ring. So we're just today it's just we're just seeing if we can get this old thing running, guys. So next thing we're going to do is put that uh, valve cover back on it. I so wanted to get those off and clean underneath there, but uh, just couldn't get it done right now with the tools I have. I've never had one of those little spring compressors. Um, I've worked on these old motors for a long time. Briggs and Stratton's a lot easier, like I said. And I haven't done, worked on too many uh, Tecumseh motors. They're a little different. Same thing as far as spark and gas and all that goes as applied to you know, how they run, but they got them together a little different. Let's get this back on. All right, I'm good and snug. Now I'm just going to take a lot piece of sandpaper and we're going to sand the head 
We're going to use one of these sanding blocks. See, on Briggs and Stratton, the valves are pretty much flush with the motor. These are from, these got, you know, they set off, offset for some reason. They're, they're seating. At least the intake side is really good. It's just they, uh, for some reason, they are just. Make sure to keep it flat. See, it's hard to get in between them. Briggs and Stratton, you can just go right across the right, you know, you wouldn't have that lip. Alright. That looks pretty good. It don't gotta be perfect right now. Just enough, you know, hopefully it'll run. So let's go ahead. I need to get this carbon off this get this off of here somehow. I need a putty knife or something to do that. Maybe I can take a screwdriver. Barely tapping it. A lot of carbon. A lot of carbon. Get our sandpaper back. Whatever I did with it. Cleans I can. Man, that thing was nasty. may have a way to fire now with all that carbon off of it. And it is getting fired because I keep shocking myself. Alright. That's about as good as we're going to get for now. So let's get the um, let's get the head gasket back on it. This may need cleaned a little here. Wipe it off. like that also we need to clean inside here look at all that carbon 
that needs cleaned also. Man, that's bad. I'm going to take a, uh, probably a, a steel wheel. Go in here and get this cleaned up. That is bad. Let me see if I can clean that a little bit, guys. I'm going to have to get the drill. All right, guys. Here's an old tool. I don't know if you've seen one of these. This is right out uh, old man's workshop from the 50s. It's um, a zapper. However, hopper zapper one-fourth cap model. Um... Electric Tools Chicago 115 volts AC DC amp 1.6 It's an OD but it still works And here is the um, little tools it came with So yeah, it came with a grinder a buffer Another little wheel. There's all different types of stuff. Let's see if we can get this head cleaned up. It's not super powerful. But that's good because you don't want to take no aluminum in it off. You just want to get that carbon off. It's a little bit better. Can't get down in these holes. Maybe I can get that out with a screwdriver. Yeah, get that out of there. No motor's in bad shape. It was it served its purpose, it looks. It looks like it gave somebody a lot of time. A lot of work went on this probably so motor.
block here. That looks a lot better. Not perfect, but may get this whole thing started again. All right, guys, let's see if we can get this back together. All right, let's get our gasket here. Turn that one as much as on it. Went that way. That our small ones in. like that I mean that was a horrible looking cylinder wall wasn't it guys phew I haven't seen one that bad in a long time we gotta put them on last let's go ahead and snag these up Try going off with hot. That one feels all right. I'm not really sure about that one. I don't know what's going on. Dirt on it. Oh, the governor spring got stuck. I don't know where it went. There's that part of it. Alright, let's go ahead and let's get our head boats. And you want to do this in like a star pattern. Let's get 
these long ones rain down. Start snagging. Nice and snug. You don't want to crank down on too awful hard, guys. If you're going to do this, just aluminum. Put this back underneath here where it goes. Flip it around here. We got to get these. Get these uh, up here. 7 16 snug down. This one. Right, that's good and snug. All right, now let's see what we do. Yeah, I lost the spring. That spring came off the governor. I don't know. I seen it stretching. There it is. Man, it stretched way out of shape. I have to look for another spring for that whenever I hook it back up. I may be able to bend it back in place, but I doubt it. It got caught on the workbench. Alright, guys, let's see if she'll pull now. Oh, yeah. And I know it's getting fire. Let's check and see if it's getting fired through the spark plug. I don't know if I can hold it and pull. Oh, yeah. Getting good blue spark. fire so let's get that put back on all right guys i need to kind of bend this a little bit more there it wasn't fitting the spark plug good and tight let's see if that works put the spark plug we'll go ahead and put this auto lock back in it i don't think that's what it came here's the serial number LAV 35-40806K and then the serial number is 5014N. There we go, that's nice and snug. on good and tight so now we need to draw our attention to the carburetor oh, here's a kill wire now like I, what I was saying guys um, the carburetor I have is a little odd they made these in all different shapes as far as they put the line on different places on these little carburetors and then they have like three or four different types and as you see this one's going to be facing that so i want to see if i can find my other carburetor first i should have one or two around here somewhere all right guys i cannot i do not know where 
those other two carburetors are. They have disappeared. They're around here somewhere. Oh well, I've looked and looked. Um, we'll just have to see if we can get started with this. Um, maybe it's going to be right there, so we may be able to get it. I know one thing, it smells like bad gas. Probably because it's got bad gas in it. Let me drain this bowl. Ever since they went to this new formula on gas, it has been a nightmare on carburetors. Um, got that apart. You can see how yellow it is down in there. I hope it hasn't messed the jets up in that set last year. Um, so, I need to clean this out. Wipe it out. Get some of that varnish out, man. It, varnish gas is horrible. Alright, there's that. Let's get this back in here. Just back. We'll check that needle. Let's check the needle. Yep, it's discolored. Probably got to this carver just in time before it started gumming up over the winter. Get that put back in. Back it out two and a half turns. Put it back to the factory. Let's see. One and a half. Now I need to put this back in because I forgot I changed that out. And I forgot, man. Oh, man. Oh, here it is. Do I still have the little screw? I don't think I do. I forgot I had to take all this off. Yep, sets in like that, and then it's got a little screw. That's for the choke. We'll just choke it ourselves. We'll try to choke it. If anything, I'll spray gasoline up in there and see if it's going to leak off. That's probably what I'll do, guys. And since I don't got the right carburetor right now. Because this needs to go back in here, and there's a little screw in the in the butterfly. Because I, I took the new carburetor I got from my boat motor, and I switched this part out. I put the original back in. That's what that's all about. And then I remember I lost that boat, or the yeah the boat that held the butterfly in. So that's not really going to do no good for us right now. Anyway, it was all messed up. It was on the wrong side. What we'll do, we'll see if we'll spray gasoline in there, guys. See if we can get it to run. Um, see if it's going to be a running motor. And I need to drill a couple holes here. Put some screws in so it won't fly off on us. Let me do that real quick and I'll be back. And we'll see if this thing will lick, hit a lick. Alrighty, guys. Um, I put a little bit of gasoline in this bottle. So, I'm trying to find a good place for you guys in case this starts up. Because I don't want this thing flying off. So, let's spray a little gas in the intake. Let's spray the bottle here. Spray it in there. And let's see, now this might be hard to start because they don't have a blade on it. She hit. She hit. Man, 
it's so hard to do. Uh oh, I see a fire. Fire! That is never good. Fire is never good. Yeah, this has been starting to be a little dangerous. No! Trying to be a little dangerous here. Let's do it one more time. Keeps on, keeps on wanting to catch on fire, guys. start because of the blade that blade helps it to throw it around uh, looks like we got more to do I don't know why it's trying to catch on fire of course the spark plugs right here right there coming into the intake I mean, it did almost pop off once guys but I'm going to call it right now. Um, I need to find a better place to set this thing on and have it outside just in case it does catch on fire. Um, so, um, I'm going to stop here on this video and that way it will give me time to look around for the other carburetor and find a blade to put this, find, figure something out to put this on, maybe get a blade on it or something. Because it just ain't wanting to turn over. It almost did. But. I've got to have a better. I tried to screw these down. And it just didn't work. Alright guys. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Until the next one. I'll see you right here at Redneck Ways. Hope y'all got some excitement out of that. Thing kept catching on fire on me. Alright guys. Until the next one. Bye guys.